The exclusive economic zone is three times the exclusive economic zone of China. The legal exclusive economic zone of China. And probably there, there lies the dispute why uh, China has been lasting for our exclusive economic zone, particularly the West Philippine Sea. Sustainable Development Goals as approved by the UN, definition of, this is, this is a new concept. We had the Millennium Development Goals, now we have the Sustainable Development Goals with a very germane to economic development, to sustainability, to climate change. Definition of democracy, definition of what is a third world country, uh, to make sure that we know how we can escape out of this uh, third world status, and definition of an upper middle level, uh, level income country, which uh, we should aim at in the next uh, so many years. By the way, uh, we are right now at a little below $3,000 per capita GDP. If we aim at the $12,000 GDP, you know, if you grow by 7% per annum, it will take you 10 years to double your GDP. Your GDP. So you can imagine how long it will take to reach the $12,000 uh, level if we are growing only by 7%, which we are right now. We have to grow at the level that uh, China experienced for about 10 years. And of course, uh, West Philippine Sea, this to me is a survival issue if it is invaded and occupied in a substantial way by another country, in particular China. It is a vital matter of vital interest. Uh, uh, if not accompanied by a major occupation, a national interest is, of course, the removal of Chinese installations and China renouncing their Nandas line claim uh, in the South China Sea. <coughs> China-US geopolitical rivalry, I think we should engage both powers, but maintain and not diminish our mutual defense treaty with the United States. Uh, that, to me, is very important. Uh, we have to develop a credible defense capability to make the Philippines a worthy MDP partner when it comes to joint exercises with our treaty ally. Uh, by the way, uh, here, we have to look at uh, the, the MDP, uh, what is happening uh, with respect to the MDP. Uh, the decision, for example, as announced in media, I don't know uh, how true this is, and uh, as announced in media that the Joint exercises will be limited to uh, civic action, uh, humanitarian uh, response, uh, counter-terrorism, and not uh, and other activities that are not related to mutual defense. Then Tiflex and Karat have been eliminated. And in my opinion, these are the very essence of the mutual defense aspect of uh, the MDP, these are the very essence of, uh, like in the Cara, for example, these are naval exercises, anti-submarine warfare. In the case of Piplex, uh, these are simulations of how to recover an island uh, taken by the foreign power. So removing that from the MDP is uh, not just diminishing of the MDP, but practically making the MDP a, a unit. Pardon the use of that word. Survival issue in a shooting superpower conflict, even if non-nuclear, of course, even if uh, it is non-nuclear, it will be a matter of survival for us. Because in, in an air-sea battle between Japan, between, I have to include Japan, between the US, China, Japan, and the other powers, I don't think uh, we can continue the trade, so it will affect our economic survival. Uh, ASEAN community building, we should aim at economic, diplomatic, and political engagement with all, understanding each other's national interests and uh, their uh, alignment. A peace process with the CPP, FBA, and the F, and some more, of course, uh, we need this, and it should be generally acceptable to all stakeholders. And uh, peace and order, vital for sustained and balanced and exclusive economic development. Uh, all businessmen are, uh, know this. Without peace and order, there can be no uh, uh, substantial business. We have to reduce, in a major way, illegal drugs, drug-related crimes, and cutting of supply lines of illegal drugs. So on that note, I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.